I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Metabolic Training Circuit. For today's workout, all you will need is a few sets of weights. So I'm using a 3.5 kilo set, which is around eight pounds for my lighter weight. And then I've just got a single five kilo weight, which is around 10 pounds. You also need something to step up on. So I'm using my sturdy chair. If you don't have a chair in your exercise room, maybe a coffee table that's sturdy, a footstool, a weights bench, maybe a normal step up. So it doesn't need to be as high as this, but if you have a chair that's sturdy, then maybe use that because it will give you more of a challenge. Now with the weights, I am being conservative with my weight selection because I have been prone to get injured with heavier weights and we will be moving at quite a fast pace. So you might want to go a bit heavier than me. I'm used to doing body weight workouts, so using the weights for me is definitely going to challenge me even though they're not very heavy. So we're going to do a bit of a circuit style workout today. So we've got little stations kind of set up here, a lighter weight station, a heavier weight and a chair station, as well as in the center and we'll be doing some cardio moves. So we're gonna try and really rev up that metabolism. First of all, I wanna get you nice and warm without any weights at all. For the cardio, if you want to hold on to light dumbbells, you can, maybe one kilo at the most, maybe 1.5, which is approximately two or three pounds. You can do that if you want to really rev up the intensity. So we're gonna get started, but if you're in a particularly cold climate, you might want to warm up extra and come back when you're ready. So all we're gonna do for the warm up is start stepping side to side. And I want a nice wide stance. Everything's nice and soft and loose. Your tummy's in and you're just reaching and pulling your elbows behind you. Side to side, slightly going up and down. So maybe pushing off the toe on the side there. A few more like this. All of our moves are gonna be easy to follow today, but the intensity is gonna get up there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to skate across, skate across wider in those legs, warming up through the inner thighs, skate. Your arms are nice and big here, dynamic motion, getting the heart rate up straight away. Side to side, nice deep breaths, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna kick our butt and row our arms from top to behind, so slightly higher up this time. Kick it, maybe sink lower and come up higher, getting that heel close to that butt. Using our large muscle groups to warm up every part of the body. A few more like this. Keep breathing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now in front with those heels, and figure out the arms. Sink a bit lower. Try to get your leg out really nice and far in front of you and sink into the heel of the bent leg. Figure out those arms. Maybe get some waist involved here. Lean into it. Starting to breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now we're gonna squat and come in. So I don't want you to fully stand up. Squat to the side and then narrow with your knees nice and bent. So slow down slightly, but get deeper. We wanna warm up our glutes, our hamstrings, quads, inner thighs, getting everything ready, especially for those step ups on the chair. <laughs> you wanna be nice and warm. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, flat back here, three, two, and one. Now widen your stance and we're going to come and touch our elbow to our knee. Down and up, down and up. Just bend your arms by your ears and lean into it. It's kind of like a bit of a sumo walk. Trying to sink low, so we're warming up again through those thighs and leaning directly to the side to warm up through the waist. Breathe through it. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go back to those side steps and we're gonna do two across and a heel pump. Go four, three, two, one. So two across and up for two. Two across, up for two. So I wanna warm up the calves a little bit. Breathe, up for two. Across, sink into those heels, across. Come down lower for the cross, across, and up for two. Just a few more of these, three more, and up, two more, and up. Last one, and up. Now I want single, single, and up single and up. Just pump off those toes. You don't need to jump, you can just raise up those heels. Across and up. Tummies are in. I'm not wearing shoes, but if you prefer to, you can. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're gonna just Stretch dynamically, so come side to side. <sighs> Lean into it, twisting through the side body, side to side. Breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Just hold for two, hold for two. A few more like this. One more each side and hold and then I just want you to step back and in staying relatively low and trying to get your heel to the mat back and in back and in stretching out the back of your leg <sighs> breathe through it six five four three two one now go back and hold for two and in so it's like a little pump with the heel and in. Pump for two and in. Pump for two and in. One more each side. And in, last one. Now go back to what we were doing before and bring those legs out in front. Sit back. A few more like this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now leave it. Open your arms and come down. Go up like an X and down. Up like an X and down. Stretching your hamstring as well as your chest and your shoulders. Two and one. Other leg in front, same thing. Up and down. Trying to come down to your low point where you feel that lengthening in the back of the leg. Up and down. Breathing through it. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Roll through the shoulders and we're going to get started. So, first of all, with your light weights. Now, because we haven't used the weights yet, we're going to start quite simply by rolling our shoulders and holding our weights in place. And all we're going to do is turn our feet out slightly and do a curtsy lunge side to side. Simple stuff. So, send your leg back behind you on a diagonal. Stick your glute out to the side wall and try to come down low in your back leg, but keep your spine nice and flat. So your chest is forward and you're just holding those weights and even that is some work for those arms. So side to side, warming up all through those nice large muscle groups in the lower body. Making sure your tummy is kept in the whole time to protect your back. A few more like this. Nice and big. <sighs> breathing, breathing. Maybe come down lower as you get warmer. Six. Five, four, three, two, 
two, one. Now we're going to come across and stay on this side. Come up, down, up. Once more, up, come down, across. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down and across. So really try to keep that butt low. Down, up, down and across. Breathe, out at the top. Two and three, down wide. And one and two and three. Down first, keep it safe. A few more like this. Squeeze your glutes at the top and three, down wide. And one and two and three, down wide. One more on each side. One, two, three, down and across. Last time, one, two, three, down and across. Now safely put your weights down. We're gonna come into the center and all we're gonna do is some plie hops. So start jumping in the center and then start crossing your legs. So lean forward slightly at the hips, down and out, down and out. If you don't want to do any impact, keep it low. Keep it like this, okay? So you don't have to switch in front, down and out. So we've got our feet turned out still, and that's what's using the same muscle groups as we just did. Little cardio intervals in between to really get your heart rate up. That's what's gonna rev your metabolism. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So now we need one heavy weight and we're gonna pick it up safely, hold it with both hands. Instead of doing your normal step ups with your feet parallel, I'm gonna keep mine turned out. Only do that if you can safely. I'm just gonna hold my weight at my waist. And so, try. Come up with your foot turned out. Come up and down and down. Up, up, down, down. Starting on the same side. Down, down. Up and up, down and down. So your heart rate is starting to come down. You wanna keep your knees nice and soft. You can slightly lean forward. That might help your balance here. Up, up, down, down. We're gonna switch this up in a minute and just stay with this back leg on the top and we're just gonna tap up with the front leg. So all the weight is gonna stay in the heel of the back leg. Go for four and down. Three, down, two, and one. Come down first, come back up with that turnout position. We're gonna tap up, come down. Tap up, come down. So make sure you look down and do it safely. And down, tap up and down. So this one's a lot tougher on that supporting leg. I'm trying to keep my knee bent the whole time so I'm not straightening all the way up like this because that loses some of the intensity in that muscle. So you wanna try and lean forward slightly. That will help you to tap up there and come back down. Let's go for four more. Up, down, three, and two, and one. Nice job, we're gonna drop the weight, but we're not done. So now, same thing with the foot turned out. We're going to only do this if you've got a safe place to do this. We're gonna come up and come down. Come up and come down. So weight is in the heels. You can technically do this without leaning on the chair. You just need to use your balance. Up and down. Both feet are turned out and I'm trying to get this glute to squeeze all the way up. 
So weight is in the heel of this leg, tummy's in, back is flat, and down. Up and down. So if you're not using a chair, whatever you are using, you might need to push it against the wall. And that way you can then hold the wall for this. Up and down. Let's go for four and down. Three and down. Two and one. Guess what? Hold it. Just little pulses. Just little pulses. I want you to bend, extend the standing leg. Oh my goodness. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down safely. Okay, if you need to, grab your heel and stretch that leg and then come across into a figure four, stretch that out. Now, we're gonna go back to our light weights and we're gonna start again, but slightly different this time. So, light weights, shoulders down and back. Now, instead of being turned out, I want you parallel this time. I want your tummies in and I want your palms to the front. So we're gonna start off just holding and I want you back and in, back and in. So starting off just with a regular lunge. So we changed it from a curtsy lunge to a regular lunge. Back and in, back and in. We're gonna add on a biceps curl in a few of these, but we're gonna hold it and do a biceps curl in a static hold and then come back in. So go for four, three, two, one. Come back up, hold it, go up, down, up, down, up, in. Up, down, up, down, up, in. We are burning out our biceps. Up, in. Up, down. Up, down. Just say it to yourself. Up, in. Slow and controlled. Up, down. Up, in. Up, down. Squeeze it up. Up, in. One more on each side. Up, down. Up, in. Last time. Up, down, up, in. Now we're gonna go up, down, up and in. Adding a pulse, up and in. No mercy for the arms, up and in. You can continue the static hold if you're finding this too tough. Up, down, up and in. Up, down, up and in. Come on. Just keep saying it to yourself. Tummies are in, shoulders are down and back. Four more. Up and in. This is three. Up and in. And two. Come on, breathe. Last one. Up and in. Put those weights down. Okay, guess what? <laughs> guess what? We've got lunge jump. But you can keep them quite shallow. So we're just gonna go figure eight arms and we're gonna jump, jump. Now if you want to, just do half time. Keep it really shallow. If you want to go harder, down low. Figure eight arms. Down, down, down. Come on, burn out those legs. Not many, I know these are hard. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now little ones, push overhead, push overhead. Lean forward, breathe. Lean forward, tummy's in, push up. A few more like this, come on. Breathe, breathe. Eight, seven, push up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, guess what? We have the other leg. 
Remember what we just did earlier? Same thing, other leg. So we are going to turn out because we need to make it even. Deep breath in. Hold it by your waist if that's comfortable for you. And your leg, foot is going to be turned out on both feet. And we're going to step up, up, down, down with the front leg. Up, up, down, down. The key is to lean forward slightly. That will help you to balance with that weight. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. If you need to slow it down at any point, please do so, okay? If you want to grab heavier weights, maybe you want to get the partner weight and use both, go for it. But I know what's coming up, so I'm keeping myself at a very gradual intensity, giving myself room to grow. Down, down. A few more of these, and then we're going to start just tapping the back leg up. Let's go for four, and up, three. Keep your feet turned out, two, and one, come down first. Now, it's up and tap and come down. Up and tap and come down. All the weight is shooting through the heel of the leg that's on top. Both feet are still turned out. Tummy's in, leaning forward and down. Now, if your arms are getting sore, you can drop that arm and just hold the weight in the back arm, okay? That's your option. But I quite like it at my center because it makes it slightly easier to balance. Now, don't straighten this leg all the way. You don't want to come up here, okay? Keep it bend. Six more. Six. And five. And four. And three and two, push through the glute. Last one, come down safely, put down the weight. Now, remember those arabesques? Put your leg back on. We're gonna come up and down, up and down, up and down. Squeeze that glute, bring it high and down. Both feet turned out, up. Weight in the heel of the front leg. You should be able to wiggle those toes. Up and down. And remember, you can do it without. It's harder to balance for sure, but it's possible. And down. Maybe challenge your balance if you're working on that. You should always be working on something. And down. A few more, and then we're gonna hold it and just do those glute raises. Eight. Seven, get the leg high if you can. Six, you can do this on the floor if you're finding it too hard. Four, three, two, one. Guess what? Tiny break, deep breath in, stay up and plie the front leg, bend and extend and raise, raise. Raise that glute, point the toe, try your hardest to get it up high. You should be feeling the glutes on both sides, up and up. If sweat is not dripping off your nose, then I'm not sure what you're doing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Let's just stretch that lightly. Bring your heel in. And then just cross over and sit back. Deep breaths and come up. <laughs> we're back to the light weights. Okay, so now we're gonna do a bent over, so a hamstring and a bent over row combination. So I want your tummy pulled in and we're gonna do deadlift. So we're gonna come down and up. So I want you to start with that. Down and up. So I want your shoulders back in place at the top 
and come as low as you can. If you need to keep a micro bend in your knees, then do that. But otherwise try to just keep your weights close by your thighs, stick your glutes out to the back and come down and up. So we're starting with singles and then we're gonna start adding in some back rows. Down and up, warming up those hamstrings, squeeze your glutes at the top as you come up. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, flat backs, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna come down, row the arms up, and come up. So it's down, a single row, and come up. Down, single row, and come up. It's a wide row, wide to the side, and come up. It's down, wide to the side, and come up. Flat back, only come down to 90 degrees, and then row, and then up. Starting with singles, we're gonna turn these into three rows. Down, row it, and up, three more like this, and up, breathing, up, last single, down, and up, stand up, we're gonna come down, row one, two, three, two, three, stand up, deadlift, up, down, one, two, three, look down at the mat, stand up, deadlift, up, down, it's one, two, three, stand up, deadlift, up, down. One, two, three, your neck has to be in nice alignment with your spine. Down, one, two, three, stick your glutes out to the back. Down, two more sets. One, two, three, it's up first, Deadlift, up, down, last set. One, two, three, up, down, up. Now we're gonna do some deadlift burpees. You don't need to use the weights if you don't want to, but I quite enjoy using the weights. So if you want to, then just follow me. You hold onto the weights, you come down, you jump back, you renegade row, one and two. You come in, you stand up. Now, if you don't want to hold the weights, leave your weights in front of you. You come down, you jump back. You still renegade row. Then you jump in and you jump up, okay? So choose your option. Ready, set, go. It's down and back, row, row, in, up slowly with the weights. And back, row, row, in, up slowly with the weights, squeeze your glutes, and back, row, row. Your arms have to be under your shoulders, and as you come back up, make sure you squeeze your butt, get your feet in close, and then come up safely. Down and back, tummies are in. Row, row. So this time, your elbows are close in by your rib cage as you row, row and up, down and back, row and row. <sighs> Try to keep your butt down. I know it's a little bit tough. Row, row. So this is cardio strength, right? Three more. <sighs> row, row, and up. Two more. <sighs> back and back, and up. This is the last one, down and back. Back and back and up. Leave your weights to the side. We're gonna to go to single deadlifts and we're going to just use the one weight. Now we're gonna start with the back leg. I'm going to hold the seat of the chair because I can go quite low. If you need to turn it around and put your hand on the back of the chair, then do that. We're gonna start with our toe back. The palm is facing the leg. Keep the weight in close to your body. Come down and up, just to your low point. Tummies are in, backs are flat, down and up. Now if you prefer, why not hold it with both hands? I quite like using the chair. Now if you can, 
I want you to start raising the back leg. So it's like a tipping motion, okay? Tipping. Now I'm keeping my stationary leg really straight, but some people prefer a micro bend. That just makes it more of a glute focused exercise rather than just pure hamstrings. Come on. So at the moment, the palm is facing towards your body, but we're gonna change this into a three row exercise where we're gonna switch it so that the weight is turned this way instead of this way, okay? Do four more singles. Three. Two. One, come up. Deep breath in, now come down. Make sure the weight is in the heel. Turn your weight, everything's parallel, row for three. Two, three, arm long, come up. Go back down, one, two, three, hang your arm, come up. Go back down, one, two, three. Are you feeling your supporting leg? Go back down, one, two, three. If you can't keep your leg in the air, do this, one, two, three, and just tap in. Okay, choose your option. Maybe have the back leg even more bent and come in. Or maybe even just do the arms. Up to you. Three, come in, two more sets. One, two, three, come in. This arm is getting tired, right? Last one. Two, three, come in. Okay, drop that down. Arm death. Shake it out. Okay, we're going to do some more renegade rows, but this time we're gonna start and stay in the plank position. If you want to, you can use the slightly heavier weight here, but I'm gonna keep it to my lighter weight. So you wanna get into a plank, and if you can only do this on the knees, make sure you're in a plank with your hips tucked on your knees. Get into a plank, and we're gonna go one, forward, up, forward, up, forward, down in the center, switch hands. Forward and up, two, three, down in the center. So go forward first, forward and up, don't swing it. Three, down in the center, switch it. Make sure your hand is underneath your shoulder. Two, three, and down. Always get that plank first before you start moving. Three, and down. And if you need a break, take a breather and start when you're ready. Two, three, and down. Switch again. Forward and back. Two, slow and controlled. Three, and down. Switch it. One, two, three, and down. Come on, just keep going for a few more. One, two, three, and down. Other side. One, two, three, and down. Keep going. Two, three, and down. Try not to turn out your hips. One, two, three, and down. One more each side. Can you do it? One, two, three, and down. Other side, one, two, three, and down. Awesome job. Weights out of the way. Ah, oh, dripping, dripping. Okay, we're going to do some mountain climbers with our feet turned in. That's our cardio. So hands back under, no mercy for your poor arms. And we're gonna turn our feet in, in and in, in and in, and then start speeding it up. If you wanna come up on your fingertips, you can. If you want your weights underneath your hands, you can. In and in, in and in. You're tapping and coming back out. In and in, come on. Now, slow it down if you can't do it fast. Tap and tap. This is actually harder on the arms. And tap, okay? Few more, not many. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, arm death. Okay, guess what? Other leg, single leg, deadlift. Yes, let's get up. So this time, we're using the front leg and we're lifting the back leg. So I'm just gonna switch it and I'm going to keep my weight in the opposite hand. Other hand is on the chair, if you have one. Your back is flat, your tummy's in, you're leaning forward and you're looking at the mat, very important. Your toe is behind. We're gonna come up and then come down. Come up and come down. So if you wanna turn your palm towards you, that is probably even safer because you can keep the weight closer to that leg. Doesn't matter so much. Now in a few more, we're gonna lift the back leg. Go for four, squeeze your glute on the up. Three, and two, and one. Now as you come down, lift the back leg. Just to your height that challenges you, maybe challenges your balance, but not too high that you fall over, right? And if you want a micro bend in the supporting leg, then go for it. You're going to your low point, okay? You may not be able to go as low as me, and that's totally fine, because we're all at different levels. And if you prefer to hold the weight like this, then go for it, okay? Your choice. Or hold it with the palm facing to the side, so I've got my legs super straight here because that's how I like it. But if you prefer, you can bend it slightly like this, okay? That gives you more glute activation. Four more. Three. Two. One. Come up for a second and breathe. We're coming down and we're going to do three rows. Come down. One. Two. Three, let your arm hang and come up. Come down, one, two, three. Let your arm hang first, then come up. Again, one, two, three. Why not squeeze the glute of the elevated leg? One, two, three. Your arm is close to your side, okay? It's grazing your rib cage. Three, and up. Come down, one, two, three, let it hang and up. Keep breathing, two, three. You are never curving your spine here. One, two, three, and up. Come on, that glute is burning. Three, and up, and your hamstrings, two more. One, two, Three, and up, one more. One, two, three, and up. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Extra stretch on this side. Maybe pull your foot towards you. Maybe an attitude that really burned. Okay, guess what, inner thighs. Inner thighs and triceps. So, pick up your light weights, come into a wide plie position. We're gonna just start off with down and up. Simple, simple, because I want you to really open wide and activate those inner thighs. Your weight is in the heels, your toes are turned out to your wide point, okay? Which may not be as wide as me, that's totally fine. If you're finding it very difficult to get down and up in a straight line like this, with your back quite flat, then hinge forward slightly, lean your chest forward slightly, and you might be able to get lower that way. A few more like this, then we're gonna start holding our weights in the center, and we're gonna extend the arm. Now, 
Let's keep going with the singles. This is a heavy weight for a triceps extension. So you need to be careful how you do this, especially because we're going to the side. If you prefer, you can slightly hinge back in a more regular triceps extension. Otherwise, if you're with me and you're going to the side, you're pushing your shoulders right down and you're doing it with control, okay? Go for three, two, one. Now arms up and as you come down, extend. Let's slow it right down, extend. So look at that elbow, elbow to the ceiling and you're pushing the head of your weight up. You're squeezing the back of your arm. This is heavy. So if you can't do it with this weight, go and get a lighter one. Maybe some baked beans, maybe some water bottles. Push your shoulder down, slow and controlled. Come on, you can do it. Just a few more like this. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now both weights together, arms overhead safely, and we're going to come down and up. Triceps extensions. Push your weights together, come down in the center of your back, and then push overhead on the up. Focus on those legs. Get low. It's slow and controlled. Down and up. Weight is in the heels. Adjust your feet whenever you need to. Just eight more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Safely down. Drop the weight. Oh yes, we've got some fun cardio for you now. Make sure you've got nothing in the way. Come into a wide plie position. Just start bouncing, bouncing off the toes. We're gonna do four bounces and then we're gonna click our heels together, okay? A few more singles. If you don't want to do the jump, then just rise up on the toes. Four. Three, two, one, click. Four, three, two, one, click. Four, three, two, one, click. Four, three, two, cut it down to two. One and up, two. One and up, two. One and up, and up, and up, four more, and up. And up, two more, last one, oh my goodness, stay down, stay down, while you catch your breath, bounce, bounce, roll through the toes, catch your breath, roll through the toes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come up, okay. We're going to our chair. And I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this is not easy. Get your heavy weight. One foot is on the chair. Your toes are turned out. You need to decide your stance here. You need to stay upright. We're coming down and up. Most of the emphasis is on this leg. Weight is pressing through the heel. If you don't want to use the weight, don't use the weight or use a lighter one. Deep breath in, start with down and up. Down and up. You're slightly leaning forward, down and up. Both feet are turned out, really feeling the stretch on the leg that's on the chair. A few more singles. Then we're gonna go one, two, three. Lift our arms overhead and do two tricep extensions, just with a single weight, okay? Let's go for six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now go 
bounce, two, three, overhead, one, and two, safely down. Bounce, two, three, overhead, one, and two, safely down. Bounce, two, three, overhead, one, and two, safely down. One, two, three, overhead, one, and two, four more. One, two, three, and up. Tummies in for two, safely down. One, two, three, and up. Down for two, two more. One, two, three, and up. One, two, safely down. Last time, two, three, up, down, and two. Bring it down, safely drop the weight. We're gonna give you a bit of a stretch out. So I want you to lean into it, stretch down. Lean into it, stretch down. Dynamic stretch, stretch down. Lean into it and down. Three more and two more and last time. Okay, guess what other side and we're done. Just the other side, we're not gonna do the whole circuit again. So move your chair. Grab your weight safely. Other foot is on the chair, feet are turned out. Test it, how wide do you wanna be? Your weight should be in the center, down and up, down and up. Now this leg that's on the floor is saying, this is so unfair because I can totally feel the burn already. So maybe press harder into the heel on the chair because maybe that's gonna help alleviate some of the pressure of this grounded leg. But either way, it's gonna burn. You want the burn. You feel the burn, then you'll see the changes. In that order, people, gotta burn first. A few more like this, then we're doing those bounces. But we're gonna change it up. We're gonna bounce for two and do three triceps. Okay, are you ready for this? Let's do six, five, get low, four, three flat backs, two, one. Now just start bouncing. I want you to get used to this. So we're gonna do two bounces, three overhead extensions. Starting now, one and two, up safely, one, two, Three, down, one, and two, up safely. One, two, three, down, one, and two. Stay in the contraction in your legs. Two, three, down, one, and two, drop lower. One, two, three, down, one, and two. Keep that contraction. See how both my legs are really bent? Three, down. Don't straighten out of this leg like this, okay? Don't do that. I nearly fell over trying to do that. So don't do it. <laughs> Up, one, two, three, and down. One and two. Up, one, two, three. Try to keep your elbows by your ears. Up, one, two, three. Three more sets. One and two, up, one, two, three, two more. One and two, up, one, two, three, last time. One and two, up, one, two, three. Safely down, and we're gonna stretch and stretch. Oh yes, stretch towards it and away. Stretch and stretch. Guess what? We're done with the work. We're just gonna stretch it out now. Dynamic stretching. Go for four and three and two and one. Awesome job. You are done. Oh my goodness. Does your inner thigh feel like wobbly right now? We're gonna get on the floor to stretch. 
So I want one leg in front, the other one behind, and we're gonna rotate up, and then we're gonna rotate back. We're gonna rotate up, and then we're gonna rotate back. Side to side, and back. One more each way, and back. Now come up and curl your back toe under, and we're gonna go down on our knee with our foot flat, then we're gonna curl back and push our heel back. I want you to articulate through your feet. So you're coming onto your toe, then you're rolling your toes under, onto your toe, and then rolling your toes under, pushing your heel to the back. Rolling your toes under, one more time, onto your toe. Rolling your toes under, come back. Right back, come forward. Come back, you can keep your toes under, come forward. I'm sitting right back onto my back heel, come back and come forward. I'm leaning my body onto my thigh to push that forward even more. Three more, back and forward. Last, sorry, two more. Back and forward. Now last one. Back and forward. Now sit with the leg in front. This one is bent and I want you to lean your chest towards your thigh. You can point or flex here. Flat back. Feels good. Nice job, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So start in that nice runner's lunge and you're pushing your hip flexor forward and just arm up and arm up, side to side. Look to the ceiling, push forward. It needs to be a wide stance here. You really wanna feel your hips opening. Up and up, two more, one, and up, last one, up and up. Now push up and we're going to push forward onto the toe, push back with the heel. It's forward and back. It's forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Really push and push. Straight leg at the back. So the main point here is that the back leg stretches back really far when you push that heel back. Two more and back. Last one and back. Come down all the way and forward. Now keep your toe under at the back. Come all the way back. If you can, sit on that heel. Back and forward, back and forward. Feeling your hamstring and then your calf. Three and two and one. Now sit back, V open your leg and same thing, hamstring stretch on this side. Flat back. Point and flex. Nice job, now sit cross-legged and we're just gonna finish off stretching the arms. Just push your elbows to the back, open your chest. Then grab your knees, open through the spine, lean back. And then other hand on top and then rotate and rotate and overreach and reach forward sweep to the other side reach forward interlace all the air out and come up and then side to side Then reach down your back and push down on your elbow and lean slightly over. And other side, push down. And then arms out and then interlace behind and pull up. 
Maybe lean forward. And roll your shoulders. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Metabolic Training Circuit. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next segment.